Let's go! What a comeback win! Let's go! Welcome to the channel where I'm talking all things Philadelphia Eagles, New York Yankees, New Jersey Devils, and Rutgers Scarlet Knights. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Rockers fans, how we doing? Let's go, let's go, let's go. What a great comeback win for a Rockers Scarlet Knights today. Taking down the Michigan Wolverines, 69-59. All great emotions right now. So happy and elated after that win. Down 15 points in the second half to them. The Wolverines coming back. First win into Chrysler Center in Ann Arbor against Michigan. Big time, big time. Uh, I'm just elated right now. End the game on an 18-2 run, 14-0 run it was. We've had so many times, second half or this season, games where we've uh, allowed terrible runs, 14-0, one was 19-0, 15-0. Today, 14-0 run, end the game on an 18-2 run overall. Take down Michigan by 10 points, 69-59. And um, go Jeremiah Williams, first game in Scott Knight, eligible to play. Difference maker. Difference maker out there. Both ends of the floor. Every aspect on the court. Leader. Offensively, defensively. Making plays. You name it. Huge. Uh, 10 points. There's 4 or 12. Just, uh, like I said, both ends of the floor. Just being him being out there. Uh, the different. You just see. It's a, it's a key word. I mean, the word fits it. Just difference. Difference matter if he's scoring. Making every shot. But it's hustling. Communicating out there. Driving hard to the basket. Uh, made both his foul shots, you know, and um, it's awesome having him out there the rest of the season for him. Having him out on the court for this team, it's going to be great. Moving to next year will we'll be even better. Him getting his time on the court, heading to next season, and uh, obviously still a lot of good season left. And this year, 10 Big Ten games left and Big Ten tournament and everything. We'll get into that more, but love Jeremiah Williams. Great to see him out there playing and helping us get this win. Um, a lot mag at 15 points, most of it in 10 or so uh, in the first half. 6 of 12, real efficient from the field. 3 of 3 at the foul line. Cliff, big Cliff Amori, 15 points, 6 of 9 from the field. 3 of 4 at the foul line. 11 rebounds today. Huge, huge. Second half, he dominated. Shots going up. Again, we're not the greatest shooting team. But he was grabbing those boards, going up strong, again, making the foul shots. Love to see that. Jeremiah also had uh, 6 boards, uh, 2 assists. A block out there, just a great job for him and Cliff. And then Derek, Derek, 19 points, 7 for 13 from the field, 2 for 3 downtown, um, 3 or 3 to line. He made our only two three pointers of the game. We were 2 of 13, made one at the very end of the uh, first half. And then later in the second half, sank one big time, big time. Love Derek, love Derek Simpson. He's had a rough go shooting the ball uh, this year as a Lately, stretch of games, play real well against Nebraska. It's a big time play. It's helped us win that game, but for the most part, it hasn't shot the ball well at all. Today, hey, efficiently, 7 of 13, two threes, 2 for 3, 3 for 3 from the foul line. Also had 5 boards, 6 assists, 2 steals. Tarek Simpson, my man, great, great game today. Love to see it. Love to see it. And uh, he, he was doing himself as a... Uh, Usual self out there, how he plays, uh, driving hard in the basket, going hard, put up the jumpers, knocking them down. That's his go-to. He gets those jumper separation, knocks them down, and uh, you just love to see it. Love to see it. That's what he can do. That's what we're trying to get to. He can do that. We've seen him other games. <laughs> so he wants more consistency, definitely. Some real rough shooting games in a row, everything, most of the games. But you, you, but you love to see that in a big-time game, down 15 points, you know, Get Will and his team back to victory, along with him, Jay Will, Cliff, and um, Watt. And the rest of them pretty much scoring. You had uh, Jay Mike with five points. Those are five starters. Mawat, Cliff, uh, Jamaica Davis, Derek, Jeremiah Williams. So right away, Pike will put in Jeremiah in the starting lineup. You love it. You love it. Um, he obviously made changes. He wanted to get him in there. Pike will <coughs> kept talking about how much he couldn't wait to see Jeremiah, Jeremiah Williams on the court. He's going to help this team. And he totally did. So he was he was right about that. Um, Ogbo played his got his first action, had a point, the foul line, some good minutes, some rough moments, but uh, he's huge out there, made some plays, plays he'll want back, and then he uh, can obviously be better at. But uh, good to see him out there in his first action. 
Oscar Punquist, Antron Wolfolk didn't see the floor at all. No limited action. And uh, the bench was high off the bench today. Four points, two of seven shooting, over four from downtown. Rough game for him. Agbo one point, and then the rest of the guys didn't score. Gavin played, no points, over five, over two from downtown. Didn't look too well today. Um, Noah didn't score again, and Austin Williams didn't score, took two shots. Noah didn't take a shot at all. But so yeah, it was starting five, and then um, four points from high end, one from my ball, but really starting five. I mean, this guy's got it done, and I'd uh, love to see that. Pykele, uh battled the, battled the flu, so he had the flu, wearing that mask. Uh, Dewan Howard, yeah, and just kind of said a little, little word to him from far, and walked over to the going to the locker room, I think he was kind of hobbling, and looked, looked rough, so he battling symptoms, and didn't feel well, but this team uh, did a great job coaching today. Love to... Uh, Substitutions, rotations, stuck with the guys. Road Jeremiah Williams, I mean, he hasn't seen in action. Didn't play all last year, hasn't played all this year. Obviously, he's been practicing, so it's a condition, but being out there in his first Big Ten game, first game of the season uh, at Michigan, big time uh, environment, big time game. Uh, put it all out there, left it all out there on the court, helped the team get the win. Derek played a lot in this game and uh, just got it out. Love to see it. I love to see it. Um, like it was bleak. It was bleak early on. Same Rutgers team. Jeremiah was helping, but uh, still got down double digits. Michigan opened up hot from three, knocking down three pointers. We couldn't get over in time. Uh, not getting around, not getting off screens. Communicating enough on defense. Open threes, knocking them down. Down double digits, digits again, where we've been most uh, a lot of times this season. Frustrating shots not going down. Everything missing layups. And turnovers, but in the first half, uh, the end cut it to five, but then um, they get a shot, then the shot clock, and then Derek turns the ball over and end up getting them on a 4 0 run to end it after we had a couple buckets in the road to cut it down to five points. They go up nine, and then second half, it's not going well again. They go up from nine to 12 to 15, it was, and then really the last like 12, 13 minutes were just ruckers, ruckers. We just started. Climb back into it <laughs> and just poured it on. Poured it on. Got it close, close. And um yeah. I don't know the exact thing with like seven seven minute mark, six minute mark, under eight minute timeout. I switched tweeted out. This is our game. Cut it to three points, all the momentum. Coming back. I think we scored on like they said it was like thirteen of sixteen possessions. Offense. Offense. You know it's what we Desperately needed, and we're just missing out <laughs> offense all around. Foul shooting threes, let's see, just two of them today. Two for 13, so not good there. But uh, just field goal percentage, just uh, layups close. Just uh, in general, ball going through the basket. We got that today 69 points. And uh, second half, that stretch that 13 minutes, the ball just started to go in, just started to go in, whether it was us driving to the hoop <coughs> and making the drive. Um, whether it was Cliff or the guys getting the boards, going up strong and making the putback, whether it was the jumpers made by Derek, a couple three-pointers in there, foul shots, you name it, we were just scoring. And I said yesterday, a little video Friday night, just, it wasn't working. You just had to find a way to get the ball to go into the basket, end up shooting 40%, 40.3, but I don't know what it was the second half, but it was obviously really pretty, really, really good, uh, much better than the first half, and, um, Again, 2 for 13 for 3, 13 of 17 on the line, just 4 misses, 76.5%, much better there today. Rebounds, out rebounding of 40 to 32, 15 to 6 offensive boards. Like I said, it was, it was great. All the guys out there contributing offensively, getting those boards and defensive boards. Lost by 1 there, 26 25, real, real, real even there. Assists 12 10 Rutgers, steals 8 2 Rutgers. Turnovers, just 9 today. We forced 19 and just turned the ball over nine times after turning the ball over 20 times <coughs> the other night versus Penn State. Great job there. And uh, points in the paint, 40 for Rutgers for us, and just 20 for Michigan. For Michigan, yeah, I mean, 19 points off turnovers compared to just uh, four for Michigan. So, yeah, I mean, um, love this game. Love this game. Defending really well and during the whole stretch. Shots weren't going down for them, but we were contesting them well and everything. And that second half on our run, and momentum. Momentum is huge in sports, college basketball. I mean, you can be down big, you can start climbing back. And team Michigan, they've blown leads uh, in the second half. 
uh, all year long. So like those stats, everything differential in the second half. So obviously, back of the head, yeah, it was whatever started blow the lead. All right, like, oh no, here we go again. So we're coming back. Shots are just falling and falling for us. Shots not falling for them. The lead goes 15, 10, 8, 6, 5, 3. We took the lead and then kept it going. That's what I kept telling in my head at the TV is keep it going. Don't lit up. Under 14 timeout or by like 6, 8, keep it going. Pour it on. Never allow them to even get back in the game, have a chance to come back there. 1 by 10. Easy peasy there in the final couple of minutes. Love to see it. Love to see the fight, the energy, the toughness, the grit. It was back today for Rutgers basketball. Wasn't there totally, but they found it and played a really, really strong last 12, 13 minutes of this game. Winning at the first win at Chrysler Center. First win in a while, a few games. The third conference win, first road conference win. 3-7 and seven down the conference, 11-10. and 10. <coughs> Overall in the season now, excuse me. I'm battling sickness here. It's been sick the last couple of days as well. But <laughs> I had energy going that second half, fired up, yelling, screaming. I love it. Love it. Love this team. And uh, yeah, just huge. I uh, can't wait to watch the rest of the season now with uh, Jeremiah Williams in there. Uh, different lineups, everything. He's a, just a total difference maker. Like Bowl, he'll get better. He plays more everything. And uh, Level Pike did rotations. Uh, guys that were playing, like Wolf and Oscar. During the season, they didn't deserve, they deserve to be out there today. <coughs> and he didn't play them at all. No limited action, high. Didn't come off, the, came off the bench, didn't play a whole lot, and wasn't that good. So, the starting five got it done. The guys, he said, go out there, you're starting today, and get it done out there. And they got it done. They dominated. And I'd uh, love to see it. Love to see it. Okay, cannot wait. Watch uh, we Maryland coming up. I think it's Tuesday night, 6.30. And Maryland College Park. We'll see what happens. But, yeah, I mean, after this game... A lot built on, positives for sure, and uh, love it. Rutgers basketball gets the win at Michigan, 69-59. to Again, uh, Steve Peichel, got to mention this during this whole video here, passes, uh, I believe it's Bob Wenzel, Wenzel uh, or ties Bob Wenzel uh, for third most victories in Rutgers basketball school history. Awesome there. Also, Rutgers women's basketball beats Nebraska, I believe by point seventy one seventy their first win. <laughs> in a long time. Like, All right, guys, ending the video outside here later on now. I was uh, sneezing in that clip there, so cut that out at the end of the video. But, uh, yeah, great win for Rutgers basketball. Women's basketball also a big time win for them. Lacrosse won a nice all-around good job today for Rutgers Athletics. And the basketball team, men's guys, just hard-fought game. Great, great win. Love to see it. If you enjoyed the win, my video, like it up. Drop some comments down below. Subscribe to the channel if not already. Have a good one, and let's go Rockers!